All right. Hey, everybody. Um, that, I, I, that was awesome listening to Carol's presentation there. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the XTech Accelerator, specifically the one we're running currently for the XTech 4 finalists. But one fun note from ha you know, having worked with Carol so closely as part of the XTech 3 Accelerator is she always used to go last in our pitch day stuff. So I think it's just awesome and fitting that we were able to get her to go first here today. I'm sure she got a kick out of that, always having to close us out in Boston and Austin. But I'll talk through a handful of slides here, but real quickly, I'll introduce FedTech. Um, and if you just go to that slide with the four kind of pillars on it, at FedTech, we build ventures around breakthrough technologies. We have four kind of core product offerings that we do, and you've been operating since 2015. Number one, our startup studios, where we work with large organizations that have lots of intellectual property. We'll go recruit entrepreneurs and spin out lots of businesses, 50 to date now, with a lot of these great breakthrough technologies. In this program, we've worked really closely with a lot of the defense labs uh, and a lot of the federal labs across the U.S., the custom accelerators portfolio, which I get to lead, is about designing really custom programs that help accelerate small business development. So I'll talk a little bit. XTech Accelerator is one of those programs, so we'll get more there in the end. Um, and then the last two kind of from those, those core venture builder activities, internal innovation. So working with really large organizations that have technical program managers, C want to learn a little bit more about terms like lean startup and really develop those innovation customer centric product development tips and then working with corporate venture to really translate some of the advanced technologies that we see in our ecosystem into business opportunities for our partners um, it, as you see here we we're, we're trusted by the best we've worked with a huge number of great research institutions um, fun, fun things you see the NFL on here. We've actually had entrepreneurs in our programs who are alumni of the NFL and even the NBA. Um, I'm six foot eight and there was, there was someone right when I joined in the program who was six foot 10, but not something I get to see every day. But a really fun program here at FedTech, really growing these early stage ventures around breakthrough technologies. Let me get a little bit deeper into the accelerators now. And really, if you define what an accelerator is, it really to us has three kind of core missions. One, accelerate the growth of an established business. Two, filling gaps in knowledge. And this is where the custom part comes into play because you know this isn't a generic, hey, come to pitch day, let's get you mentors. We actually develop a lot of custom frameworks and programming to help, for example, uh, the startups understand how to work with the army over time, right? And, and not just, hey, apply to cyber program, but let's peel back the onion and talk really deeply about what it means to do that three to five year pathway to really getting on large contracts. And then finally, the connection ones. And that's sort of doubling down on your bed. Once we've worked with the companies, we've helped them practice their communication, get their plan right, understand all the options available to them. We're going to expose them to all the relevant partners here. Um, so for the XTech Accelerator, we are supporting the XTech Search Prize Competition, which, which Zeke introduced so, so well this morning. But remember that XTech Search Prize Competition is a reminder, three big things for small businesses. It's open topic. It is, you know, the, the second one here, not only the competition putting their arms, and that's where we, we really come into play, helping these companies understand what it means to work with the Army, you know, coaching them, working with them to develop that stuff. And then really rapid, you know, like the, even, you know, across all the DOD innovation programs, which are really familiar here with FedTech, the, the companies continuously thank the Army for so quickly awarding the prize money. You know, it's not contract, it can be used for whatever you want. You heard Kurt Carol mention that she was able to use that to inspire her and empower her and her team to do a lot more business development, writing contracts, stuff that as a small business, you don't have time for a lot of times because you get your contract, you gotta, you know, you gotta execute that contract. You're only gonna hire people when you win more contracts. So the flexibility awarded to a small business from the prize money really cannot be understated. And then to get into the details now, XTech Search, remember it's got, if you go to the website, xtechsearch.army.mil, you can read a little bit more. But in general, there's four stages of each competition. And we at FedTech help with two of the, the main kind of pillars across this. One is, is webinars and general one-on-one -on -one support with uh, semifinalist plus, anyone trying to engage, you know, who's gotten past that first round of white paper reviews and tech pitches. And then finally, for the 10 finalists of the program, acceptance into the XTech Accelerator. And this is what I'll, I'll kind of dig deep into right now. So real quick, the, who, who's in this XTech Accelerator? What are the, what's the demographics of the finalists you know, when they come in? You know, and this is where I'm really excited. I had, I had a history of working with a really large company, but also scouting and kind of benchmarking all these interesting accelerator startup studio programs. 
and every single one has a regional focus traditionally. Um, so if you show the slide here, our accelerator, be, due to the nature of the XTech search competition, is national. Companies are, are from all over the United States. We've worked cross time zone. Um, even before COVID, we were forced to build this virtual network to support these cohorts versus saying, hey, we are in Washington, DC, everyone's gonna move here and we're gonna do Washington, DC centric stuff. And then if you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go and skip two slides, but if you just look at the, the finalists now by application space, very diverse as well, right? We have optimized material design with multi-scale, <clears throat> the C3 ISR is the army terminology for some, all the way to biotech and future vertical lift. In one of the previous cohorts, we had brand new combustion engine technologies in the accelerator, which I mean, in, I used to work at a big car company and it was phenomenal to, to talk and learn how they're optimizing new combustion engine technologies um, in, in addition to that. And then even if you if you break it up by just core technology again, um, really diverse cohort. And, and that I, I think is one of the takeaways I'd like you guys to leave with, with, with our customer accelerators and really for the XTech accelerator, it is very diverse. You know, the, the founders from all over, very different backgrounds, different locations, different technologies, different stories, different sizes. Um, I, I, we have another slide I didn't put up here, but talk about the size of the business. You know, some of the companies may be one or two, some may be 20 to 30 people doing a few million dollars in revenue already looking to take that next scaling step. So it's, it's a fun optimization problem for me is how do you design this program that does help all these different ranges of finalists, no matter where they are. Um, but the one common operating theme is none have really worked with the army in that scaled version. So let, let's, I'll show you just a teaser of what a timeline, timeline might look like for this accelerator program. Um, and again, it starts with the X Tech, the Army, you know, the X Tech search program selecting those 10 finalists. So for the X Tech 4 timeline, which is currently still active, back in March 2020, they selected the finalists. Um, we start with interviews, goal setting, mentor assignments, you know, and then you see that the, one of the unique things for it being a custom accelerator is, you know, a very heavy hand with Army specific customer discovery and education sprinting. So I think we had 30 plus custom webinars that we developed with speakers from Army Futures, Army Research Lab, ASALT, uh, program offices, engineering centers, outside stakeholders who support the Army, big primes, really try to paint this picture of what is a, a pretty complex organization. You know, at the end of the day, the way we, we always describe the Army, they, they have over a billion dollars in revenue, you know, revenue they can spend each year, and they employ over a million people. You know, that, that's one of the largest, most complex organizations in the world. So it, it is not easy to understand how to work or understand them as a customer for a lot of these startups. Um, back to the timeline, you know, we, we have, we, we do a lot of immersion events, as you can see. And again, for us, and I'll highlight this in a minute, but immersion, again, that's that pillar three of what an accelerator is. Exposure to relevant stakeholders that can help the companies. We really believe in five core pillars for our XTech Accelerator that are kind of like chapters in a book. They describe everything that we do. You know, every tactical decision we make, it, it tracks to at least one of these pillars. So like I said, demystify the army, number one, you know, helping people peel back the curtain. Again, this is much deeper than please go apply to Cibber. We're teaching people about all the different contract vehicles, the mentalities of all these customers and partners within the army, and realistically how to work with them. But demystify the army, the diverse mentorship, um, I have a slide here at the end, but anyone out there who would like to be a mentor, we have, we, and, you know, we intentionally recruit army personnel, we recruit ex startup founders, we recruit people with no startup experience, but who come from big, big companies or unique markets or have really cool, diverse experiences, but truly believers in, in forming these diverse mentor teams for all the companies and just ask the right questions, right? Um, that's another thing, you know, coming from the regional ecosystem, you tend to get a lot of folks who, you know, have one really positive experience. I want to share that. And that's why it kind of inspired us to take a little bit deeper, a different dive on it. Um, the last few here, venture building consulting, strategic exposure, which we'll talk on, and then the community building, right? And I think that goes for any any cohort-based program is, you know, the, 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 the sum of the parts individually is not as good as putting them all together. And so, you know, we've had experiences through the, the community building aspect where, one company on the West Coast introduced an East Coast company to customers, direct customers, paying customers, um, easy as that. But really, again, expanding our networks through the community building. And just to touch on the diversity of the mentorship again, this is just the groups represented in the XTEC4 Accelerator. We, at FedTech, we run a few other accelerators for the Army and also the Department of Energy. And you know, we're, again, really proud that we get this, this very interesting 
cross section across the US of advanced technology ecosystem enablers, right? So it could be big corporates, could be startups, could be army, could be general people in the community. And we do our best to go find them, recruit them, train them and put them together. And in, in what I think again is a really unique slice of, of finding this ecosystem and helping our companies. Now to talk a little bit about the cohort immersion experiences. So again, this is, I think, a, a core tenant of most accelerator programs, but we, we try to very intentionally break it up into three specific buckets that are quasi-educational, but also exposure. They require different communication mechanisms, different platforms, different locations traditionally, um, but unfortunately it's all been virtual due to the COVID pandemic, but really exposing the companies to defense partners, the DOD customer ecosystem, and then the US venture ecosystem. Um, again, we, we don't necessarily subscribe that every company has to be a venture capital uh, raising company. Um, that, that, that's not the answer for every single startup. And so we do our best, again, to break down, provide all the options, educate the companies on what it means to work with each one, and then put them out there. Even if you know, you're not intentionally raising venture right now, let's go have the conversation. What does that feel like? You know, how, how will you do that in the next you know, 12, 18, 24, 36 months as you develop your technology? Um, I'll, I'll finish up here just with a few, I'll call them quantitative highlights, but some really cool metrics about how the Army, you know, how this cohort is, has had some success. And you mentioned, you saw that Carol mentioned she applied to so many contracts and they, we need to catch up with her and update these metrics. But um, this was for her accelerator, the XTech 3 accelerator. All the XTech 3 finalists participated last October through March. And so again, heavy customer discovery, um, demystifying the Army there. And actually measurable contracts. You know, there's a lot of discussion in our in our sphere about what it means to be successful. And, you know, we can talk to a lot of measurable metrics like customer discovery, meetings, exposure, um, you know, immersion experiences. But at the end of the day, for a small business, you got to have money to survive. So for us, that, that's something we really push towards is apply to those contracts. We're going to help you with that process. And we want to get you on contract, competed with the money flowing in for you as a small business. Um, and that's just the DOD, right? And if you look at the right, you know, the partner engagement is a big one, both with, you know, potential partners who provide non-financial resources, but also just commercial bootstrapping, right? Go find that non-DOD customer. You know, about half the companies in our cohorts do have a primary mindset to sell into the DOD or army. And so sometimes we got to pull them the other direction. Hey, what's that consumer market look like? Who's going to be your customer there? And so I'll end here. Um, thank you all for listening to me here. Um, and really excited to, to be a part of this whole XTech search experience. If anyone would like to get involved with the XTech Accelerator, please do fedtech.io slash XTech Accelerator. Um, you can email myself or Gunnar. Our emails are probably somewhere in your inbox at this point. But you know, lots of options to be mentors, advisors, strategic partners, or anything. You know, at the end of the day, we are interested in expanding our network and really growing this national advanced technology ecosystem. Um, and the summit, you know, really is showcasing just the Army's piece of that. And the Army has done a great job leading in this sphere again with. You know, if, if you understand the startup ecosystem for companies, um, you know that there's there are some other groups out there that you talk a lot and, you know, but very few dollars applied. But XTech has systematically been this awesome program, super founder and small business friendly. We've been proud to support it um, and really extend the invite to anybody to get to know us and get involved a little bit. So with that, I will turn it back over to Tracy and we'll continue with the XTech 3 pitches here probably just in a minute or two. Apologies for the delay earlier. We'll catch up with that stuff during lunch. Looks like we are still getting ready with those pitches. Um, we have some, you, you, you noticed earlier, some some complications switching back between a lot of different platforms. Um, comes doing business in the virtual world here, so please stay with us. Um, but again, hope hope this is really interesting. Keep checking out the side stages. Um, you know, really pr proud of the website they were able to put together that um, XTech, you know, xtech3summit.fedtech.io. So please click there, explore, join the side stages, ask questions. Um, and again, take away, you know, leave, leave here today and tomorrow and the next day learning something, um, you know, really learning more about that ecosystem.